Good morning, people. I am whispering because it is 20 to 4. So it's 3.30 a.m. in the morning. I've got my morning cup of coffee there. Um, I've just, I've had my square of lint. My bad habit lately is having it with peanut butter. I've got my Kindle. So in the mornings, I love it when I'm up before the house. And then I, um, I'm also sitting here and journaling and I'll read, I'll read my journal too. It says, dear one, don't be afraid. We are here, meaning the higher, um, the higher intelligence. We are always here and you can't get it wrong and you are doing just fine. Think of your channel as your art piece. <clears throat> Think of your channel as something with delight. Oh, wait, sorry, my handwriting's so bad. Think of your channel as something that will delight you. Your channel doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you. So obviously I was meditating on where am I going with my channel? What kind of a channel would you want to see? And then my answer was real, real. And then I said, I'd love to see, and these are two of my favorite or YouTubers I enjoy, Claudia, like Claudia Glows, or Lisa Lisa D1, first thing in the morning. And so I thought I would film my morning self. I know that the image is going to be grainy because of the low light. You can see it's dark outside still. Um, there's a bird that normally calls in the morning that's not even calling yet. Um, sorry, guys, my... You know, you know what's happening with my face. <clears throat> so I'm up even before that bird. <laughs> and I thought it would be interesting to see. I would want to know what other people do first thing in the morning. And this quiet morning time in the house is my favorite when it's just me. No one's up. In fact, I even woke up a bit early. I should have probably gone back to sleep, but. I really needed a pee. <laughs> I drank a lot of water throughout the night and then I end up peeing like twice in the night. I don't know who else does that. <laughs> anyway, so I was up. I really needed a wee. I could not go back to sleep. And I just got up and decided I would actually rather have that hour of quiet meditation time and hear the birds starting just on my own. I, I don't like interacting first thing in the morning. I like about an hour or two of zero interaction. So in my ideal sort of life, I would actually just get up on my own, which I try and do, <laughs> and not talk to anyone for, for that first at least hour or so. Talk to God or the universe or I like this name, the organizing principle of everything, and I'm shortening it to OPE or OPOI organizing principle of everything it's just the the great intelligence um, so for those of you who are getting to know me my dad was Catholic so I was raised strict 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 Catholic not that I felt it I didn't feel it in my heart in my soul sorry if any of you are Catholic if it speaks to you it's great it's a beautiful it is a beautiful religion the churches are beautiful the rituals are rich and beautiful but it never made sense to me and I would ask why 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 and my dad would just say you've got to have faith just because <laughs> so that never sat well with me but anyway um where was I going with that yeah I was raised strict Catholic but for me it is more about the thing that got us here what is that force what is the force that connected my particular son to me because I, I just have this gut feeling it, I could be wrong I could be wrong about all of this that I was meant to be his mother and he was meant to be my son now I know we could say that in hindsight about anything I know I know I could say I was meant to be at this moment in time talking to you of course I could say that how do I know I don't but um, anyway, so where I was going with that was in the mornings. I, I try and reconnect to that 
guiding force because in truth we have no control over our own lives. I was thinking about that yesterday. See, I get very deep in the mornings. Um, we have zero control over our own lives. We think we have control. My arm is getting tired. But we, we actually have zero control because one of the biggest life changing events for me when I was young was me going to the Roseway Waldorf School, which is a Steiner school. For those of you who don't know what that is, I'll pop some information on the screen. I have two videos. In fact, I'll link to those down below. Very, very good. Go watch them. On Steiner Education, Jennifer Aniston is one pupil who went there. It is a method of creative learning, but it's whole integrated learning. I can't explain it. I just know it because I went there. But anyway, I was at a normal government school and my mom heard something on the radio and I was unhappy at that school, at the normal traditional school system. She heard something on the radio. She went, um, took me for the interview and her and my stepfather, bless his heart, moved their whole lives about 40 minutes to an hour away. They moved from like one town to another just so I could go to that school and I do feel that that school, I'm going to get chills, it changed the trajectory of my life going to that school. I shudder to think who I would be if I did not go to that school. And so I had no control over that. I was nine, ten. Um, and, and the girls that I was in school with, I'm still friends with some of them today in that school. So it, it builds lifelong friendships as well. In fact, my best friend, works at that school. My son goes to the very school I went to and it's just incredible. And so I do think that there is something that we'll never understand. We will never understand. I will never understand the forces at play. I'll never understand why I was born or chose to get born in South Africa to a Greek mother, South African father, in the 70s how did that come about how did i come about here and how am i talking to you now through the internet to people in america in australia in sweden in the netherlands in um, vienna austria in um, one lady was from hawaii a while back how is this possible also another thing i think of is my soul's dream, I mean, I'm 46, I've done quite a lot with my life, but the thing I long for the most is travel, so I've obviously got to wait for my son to finish school, and then when he's more independent, I always think, because travel is so expensive for South Africans, how am I going to travel, but I know I will, I have to, I have to, and these are the thoughts that I think about first thing in the morning, how are we connected? How do we materialize our dreams? What are our dream, dream life? Oh, um, how do we talk to God, the higher power, whatever you want to call it. If you don't believe, you don't believe. Maybe it's just nature. Maybe you believe in nothing. Maybe it's just your true essence. Maybe it is your soul. Maybe this is just me talking to myself and that's fine because I get, some, sometimes I get wise answers. That's my morning routine, if I can. Even during the week, I will try and get up a little bit earlier, make coffee. If my partner's up, we'll just sit and have coffee, and um, he kind of knows now that we have it in silence. <laughs> um, I don't always journal because I find I can't journal if I'm not alone. So I have to be alone. Otherwise, I just feel the presence of another person. And not that he would judge me, but it's just it's not me communing with me but this morning i have allowed you into my precious morning space and i would love to know what you guys do first thing in the morning but i love that quiet and that alone time and i can actually feel that i should have gone back to sleep because i am tired but maybe i was meant to wake up and make this video i don't know and that's it <laughs> there's my weird morning chocolate coffee, journal, 
other times I read. So right now I'm reading the way. Uh, what's it? The way of integrity by Martha Beck. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. I also love to know what people are reading. What is the way of integrity? Finding the path to a true self. Uh, I'm also reading Rick Rubin's The Creative Act, which is really good, but it's also really it's weird. There's nothing new, but there is nothing new. I mean, I think if you've read The Artist's Way and you've read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert and you've read other creative writing or artist books, his book won't give you anything new, but it will reaffirm everything and it also just opens doorways in your mind um and martha beck yeah well if you enjoy her you enjoy her okay that's it for now mm -hmm.